Red Fox, Carmel TV. I'm here at Junior Sanchez, Miami. Yo, what's popping? Uh, you've been you've been doing shit for a while, huh? A minute. How long is it now? For a while, man. I'm 30 years old now, and my first record came out was 15 years old. I was a sophomore in high school, so yeah, I've been you know I've definitely been you know paying my dues and doing doing the do. What was that like making records in high school? You know, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just doing it. I had I was doing it with no anticipation of what would happen. It wasn't a really like I didn't know I'd be jumping on planes. I was just doing it for the love of just creating something. Did you get laid a lot more in high school? Did the records or were you kind of just? Oh no, nobody, not no no nobody in my school knew how I was doing. Were there even other people in the house music then and shit? Or was no, it? I grew up I grew up with the CM Clan, like you know Stretch, Bobito, Curious George, right. and all that, and. Mm -hmm. I kind of discovered my own little niche outside of that and just started making house music. So, how old were you with the first time you got flown somewhere for a gig? I was about 16, 17. I played Tribal Gathering in the UK with Kraftwerk. That was ill. Shit. <laughs> yeah. That was, I, didn't, I didn't even know what the hell was going on. <laughs> right. Share a story, uh, you know, about about the rave scene at the height of it, the, like the parties, wow. the days. You got like maybe, maybe some good one to kind of let the younger kids know what it was like. I'll tell you one in particular story that really knew I knew that she was changing. 1993, NASA was at Shelter in New York. It only lasted for one year, but it's like it's legendary. It's people don't understand. It was only one year, yo, of that club. I was I was a househead from from Jersey, going to Sound Factory Bar, listening to Louie, and then doing the rave thing and going to NASA. And at one point, towards the end of 1990, 1992, right. I saw people like Soul Slinger playing like Harry Chandler records and she's Gaga, she's crazy and all this weird stuff. And then I would go to Sound Factory Bar and hear Louis play like, you know, Felix the House Cat, like, like, like Afrohead and Dave Clark and all this techno. And I was like, yo, I just literally witnessed this cross pollination of music. That, that was a big moment for me right there. What's one track that never fails to like move you that just, you know? For real? Yeah. Um, house record that's really not many people probably know, but I love with all my heart. Every time I hear this, I start bugging out. Urban Soul, All Right, produced by Roland Clark. It's a record that I know you're like, oh, what is it? But I'm not trying to be like cool, like, oh, you don't know it. Go find it. This shit is fucking retarded. So what's, what's coming up for you in the future? What do people got to look out for? My album, doing an album right now. It's really eclectic. It's got... It goes from people like Good Charlotte to like Hollywood Holt and Mano, you know, from Chicago. So it's, you know, it's got a really established artists and really new, fresh, young talent. I got a, a label called Brobot that I set up with two partners of mine. And um, we got tons of new artists, retro kids from New York. They're bananas. They're like, they all got flat top and gumbies. They're rocking. Thomas Boy, girl group, and Solomon Cortez, movies, films, clothing. That's what we're doing. Anyone you want to shout out before we wrap it up? You, Steve Aoki, we just saw Walking Down the Strip, um, Blue Gems, yo, Matt Decent, Diplo, everybody, the whole crew, Brobot, Derek, Amik, Armand Van Helden, Sneak, Todd, Mongoloids, still repping, even though we're all older, it's all good. Alexander Technique, what? Got it. Junior Sanchez, Red Fox, Carmel TV, Word. Miami. Oh, dude.